Team of the Season has now been confirmed. The Team of the Season event will start on the 23rd of April with the Community Team of the Season being released first. This is a team that is entirely up to the community. EA have released polls where you can vote for the players that you want to see. After this team, it will then be teams coming out every single week. Some eventually will be two every week, and this will be happening for the next two months. This is exactly what we've been talking about for the last couple of weeks here on the channel. Preparing by saving packs and investing with team of the week players. If you saw these videos and didn't take action, either by opening packs or investing in other high rated players, then at this stage it's not looking good for you. Because over the last week, the FIFA Ultimate Team market has crashed. And in this video, I will be going through absolutely everything with what's just happened, what's going to happen over the next month or two with player prices, and what you can do to get around it. Before I do get into the video though, if you do enjoy the content I'm delivering here, then make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That way you'll be notified whenever I push a new upload. And if you are one of the first to watch it, you'll also be one of the first to put everything that I say within that video into action. But getting back into the video, player prices have plummeted over the last week or two. So if you open packs from SPCs, squad battles, division rivals, foot champions, foot draft, or spent money opening packs, you would have got considerably less coins this week than what you would have got last week. Let's say that last week on the 9th of April, you were fortunate enough to pack a rare gold version of Ronaldo. On PC, he would have been going for 760,000 coins. On PlayStation, 570,000 coins. And on Xbox, 430,000 coins. Now, if you were able to pack that exact same Ronaldo card this week, you would be only getting 520,000 coins on PC, PlayStation 390,000 coins, and Xbox 310,000 coins, which is a massive drop in just a week. And Ronaldo isn't the only player. Any player in Ultimate Team with substantial value above 100,000 coins has dropped around 20%. This is your Ronaldos, your Messis, your Pele's. They've all dropped considerably in price. And all this happened because of all the leagues surrounding Team of the Season. As soon as all these leagues came out, Hardcore players reacted by selling their most expensive players in their clubs so that they will be coin rich when Team of the Season is released. And after Team of the Season is done, they can either buy back the players that they had originally at a much lower price or they can use the coins that they do have to buy Team of the Season versions of that player or finally, they could just buy better Team of the Season players in general to improve their teams. This is a smart move and if you did this, congratulations. You have now maximized your account. You can actually buy your whole team back of what you had originally and you'll still be in a better position. You'll have the exact same team, plus on top of that you'll have a few extra coins to play with, being anywhere between 25% pushing all the way up to 40% depending on the players that you had originally. If you didn't do this and you're still holding onto your players, obviously you can't go back in time and change anything, but you can take some steps from this point onwards to maximize the coins that are in your account. So the first thing to understand is that the market will carry on dropping in price this is inevitably going to happen. For those that did sell all their expensive players last week, they have caused the player prices to drop as they kept on undercutting the cheapest on the market, with not many people buying these players for their own teams. Because of the rapid price drop, this created panic with other people and they eventually sold their players, which made the market drop even further. And when EA finally announced that Team of the Season will be starting on the 23rd of April, it made players drop even further in price. But believe it or not, we're still at the beginning of this market crash. This is just the start for those that play active roles within Ultimate Team and understands what happens every single year with these types of events. When looking forward, when the 23rd of April arrives, Team of the Season is released. You will have the last minute players quickly rushing into their clubs, listing their expensive players so that they have coins for the event, which has already started at this point. And then the market will well and truly crash from here. There will be a ton of players opening packs. If you have been saving your packs, which is what I've been recommending on the channel over the past couple of weeks, you will open your packs looking for team of the season players, but the whole FIFA community will be doing the exact same thing. They've either saved packs or they've thrown money at the game, loaded up on FIFA points, ready to open as many packs as they can, hoping that they will get a team of the season player. This is when the crash is in full effect. The market will be flooded with items on the market. Everyone will be looking for team of the season players, hoping to get them in their packs when they open. But realistically, you will mainly be getting gold players and those gold players will instantly be listed on the market so that those people can quickly get their coins back and open more packs in hope for team of the season players. This is just a vicious cycle going round and round. And whilst it's going round and round, the market will keep on dropping in price. 
even if you did get a crazy pull such as gold version Ronaldo, then chances are you will probably not be keeping that item in your club when the price is dropping, right? Instead, you're probably going to be selling that Ronaldo, undercutting the cheapest on the market so that you can get quick coins and those coins will be thrown back into packs to hopefully get team of the season players. At this stage of FIFA, no one is really bothered about gold players, even if they're high rated. Everyone wants to get high rated special cards. It's also worth noting that most players at this stage are not looking to buy players. This is also having an effect on the market. Why would you buy a rare gold Ronaldo when you know it is just going to go down in value? There is no point. So even though right at this current moment, the market is at an all time low, it's going to get so much lower, especially when packs are starting to be open for team in the season. So now that we understand that the market is going to carry on going down, what can you do? The first thing that you can do is sell any type of expensive player that you have within your club. As already mentioned, the market has dropped massively, but it is expected to drop even further. So if you have any players worth more than 100k, it's worth thinking about selling them now and buying them back a bit later for a cheaper price. Players have already started to do this with them listing their players last week, but just because the market has gone down, it doesn't mean that it's too late. It is going to go down further. So you can do the exact same thing now and buy the players back again next week or even better midway through team of the season or even better than that towards the end of team of the season. Myself on my Foot Fanatic account, I do really want to go and get Ronaldo in the club. And as already mentioned on Xbox, he is around about 310,000 coins, but I'm actually looking to get him around 200k or less, which might sound a bit insane. But when looking at previous ultimate teams, the price drop during team of the season is normally the last real market crash of the game until a new ultimate team is released in September. So there is a good chance that Ronaldo will go down to that 200k mark. The other thing that you can do, and for those of you who have been watching my videos recently, you must be sick of hearing this, but you can save your packs for team of the season events. Opening packs now will give you absolutely nothing. The gold rare players, the high rated special cards are just dropping in price and new promos are just not really worth it. You are so much better off saving any type of packs you get for team of the season so you at least have a chance of getting something valuable. You're not guaranteed to get a team of the season player but it's better to have a chance later on than to get absolutely nothing which is a complete waste of coins now. I don't want to talk too long about this as I have already covered this many times here in the last two weeks. If you want to see a more in-depth video about all of this, there is a link in the description down below, as well as there'll be a card on screen right now which you can click and it'll take you directly to that video. This is the two main things that you can do with Team of the Season right now, with it being next to no risk. But if you are looking for something a bit more risky, which could even make you more coins, we move on to the next suggestion, which is looking at a few investments. Despite the market crashing, there are some players that are not going down in value. These are the cheap Team of the Week players. A few weeks back, I shared a Team of the Week investing video. I told you what to look out for and who are good players to invest, how to invest, and the players that I am looking to keep into my club. I looked at Team of the Week players that were priced anywhere between 10 to 20k who played within the Premier League, Ligue 1, Serie A, Bundesliga, and La Liga. I ended up buying from Team of the Week 27 and I bought Wayne Hennessy, Stefan Jovetic and Sergi Dada. All three of these players have gone up in value against the market crash. I invested about 300k, so not only did I save 300k against the market crash, but I also made profit, taking me to 400k plus in just these players. You can still do the exact same thing. Look at the current Team of the Week and invest in cheap players between 10 to 20k that play in the top 5 major leagues, in Premier League, Ligue 1, Serie A, Bundesliga and La Liga. And hopefully they should go up in value over Team of the Season. If not, they will hopefully just hold their value because we got them so cheap. What I'm really holding on for is that these Team of the Week players will be used for Team of the Season. I'm hoping that EA will release Team of the Season SBCs that require Team of the Week players. And if they are league specific, so for example, a Team of the Season player that plays within the Premier League requires you to get Premier League Team of the Week players for you to complete that SBC, those Team of the Week Premier League players are going to go up in value. No one's going to go for the expensive Team of the Week players, they're definitely going to be going for the cheaper ones. And that's what I've invested into. But remember, it does come with its risks. There are a lot of players out there doing the exact same thing. And if EA don't release Team of the Season SBCs that require Team of the Week players, there will be a huge sell-off of all the people that's invested in these types of Team of the Week players, which will make them drop in value. So there is still risk here, but if you think you can deal with that, 
then this is a good risk to take on with a pretty decent reward if it does pay off. If you don't want to take the risk, then I do highly suggest doing the other two suggestions, being sell your expensive players and just save as many packs as possible. But anyway, this is exactly what's just happened with the market crash in FIFA Ultimate Team and what's going to happen over the next couple of weeks and months. Everything is going to gradually go further and further down and hopefully if you do everything that I suggest within this video, you'll be able to secure all your wealth within Ultimate Team and possibly buy a much better team with a smaller amount of coins. If you do still have any questions about what's going to happen, then feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. Anyway guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.